Our waterside parks are the most stunning and beautiful places to go. Our number one priority when you visit our sites is to make sure that you go home safely. The best way that you can do that is to make sure that you do not enter the water in an unauthorised way, swimming or going out on blow dinghies or things like that. There are ways to enjoy the water in a safe way and we would always say that you must do that through a sailing club who have trained personnel on site. Our reservoirs are operational. There are hidden pieces of machinery, hidden currents within the reservoirs which are not safe. Earlier today we caught up with Stephen, one of our Waterside Parks rangers, when he was with the Teesdale Weirdale Search and Mountain Rescue Team who were practicing on our reservoir today. Well, our role is, is very, very varied. Um, in essence, we're here to look after these wonderful, beautiful outdoor assets, some of the most beautiful sites in the country. Um, and really, we're here to, uh, you know, to get people out, enjoying their surrounds, enjoying our waterside parks, coming along to fish, coming along to walk, coming along to enjoy themselves, but in a safe, safe manner. Um, appreciating the environment and getting outside and enjoying themselves. Water safety is a huge part of what we do. Obviously we're visually checking the site every single day on the hour every hour to make sure nobody's on the water or entered the water who shouldn't do. So yeah, it's a large part of our duties, it's a large part of what we do here. Yeah. Access to water is restricted to either sailing clubs at Kielder and at Doom Waterside Park here as well. Um, so anybody else really shouldn't be entering our water network at all. We've had an example of an angler at Fontburn going for a swim for a rod that disappeared off his rod stand, chasing that one out into the water. We had a group of children who accessed one of our um, spillways at Whitlam Dean, which again was a particularly dangerous situation and we've had um, the occasional group of wild swimmers at our outlying sites. In all of those instances where we're fortunate enough to have been there and to have talked to the people involved, to have sort of told them, you know, the risk they put themselves at and to hopefully them gone away and never repeat that um, in the future.